Joey, I'm really nervous to meet your family. What if they don't like me? Lindsay, you don't have anything to worry about. They'll love you just as much as I do. Hey, Dad. Hey, Mom. Happy birthday. Why, thank you, dear. But who is this? This is Lindsay, my girlfriend. It's nice to meet you, and happy birthday, Miss Fortune. Goodness, no, this can't be her. Look at what she's wearing. I don't see anything designer. She's clearly poor and not worthy of dating you. So why don't you do us all a favor and leave? What the heck is wrong with you guys? Nothing, now that that poor girl's gone. You're being jerks. I've gotta go check on Lindsay. Lindsay, oh my gosh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but I think my dress is ruined. I'm so, so sorry about my parents. What they did was wrong, and I'll buy you a new dress, I promise. Don't worry about it. It's very clear now that your parents hate me. They don't hate you. They just need to get to know you, that's all. Actually, we do hate her. Yeah, and so do I. Dad, just leave us alone. Hold up. I'm following your mother's orders. Smelly police officer, this poor girl ruined my wife's birthday party. It caused a scene. I want her arrested. Yeah, sure, no problem. <laughs> Wait, hold on. That's not true. Mom pushed her off the yacht. Yeah, I don't care, idiot. Come on, lady. You're going to jail. I will never forgive you for this, Dad. Sure you will. I'll come back to the party where you belong. No way. I'm going to help my girlfriend. <sighs> Thanks for bailing me out of jail. Of course. I am so mad at my mom and dad. I feel so terrible about how they treated you. Look, if you want to break up with me over this, I guess I'd understand. Break up with you? Are you kidding? I love you, Joey. And I love you too, Lindsay. Nothing's ever going to change that. Not even my stuck-up parents. I promise. Once they get to know you, they'll see that we're meant for each other. Aw, you're so sweet. Thank you for driving me home. Of course. And I want to make things up to you. How about we go to my family's private island this weekend? I'd love that. Perfect. We'll leave on Friday. Look, Jason, whatever happens, you can't tell mom and dad we're going to the island this weekend. Got it? Okay, but why not? Because mom and dad hate Lindsay. How's that even possible? She's the sweetest girl in the world. I know. I mean, you saw what happened at mom's birthday. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was brutal. Exactly. Now make sure you don't tell them anything. Got it? Got it, bro. Joey, where are you going? I'm going away for the weekend with my friends. You better take that private jet. And you better not be seeing that poor girl behind our backs. I forbid you to see her. Oh, mom, that's harsh. I like Lindsay. Well, I don't, and I run this house. So what I say goes. Well, you're not going to stop me from dating Lindsay, mom. I love her. Oh, sure, but you will stop dating her, or else your father and I will take away your inheritance. You can't be serious. Hey, I never joke about money, son. If you want your inheritance, you'll break up with that poor girl and never speak to her again. Now have fun on your trip. See, what did I say? <sighs> You're just being dramatic. I don't think they are. Just please don't tell them where I'm going. I promise. This island is so beautiful. I still can't believe your family owns this place. Yeah, I guess my family's had this island for years. But let's not talk about my family right now, okay? I actually have a surprise for you. And here it is. <laughs> I hope you like lobster. Wow, Joey, this is so romantic. Thank you so much. Yeah, don't mention it. But what's wrong? You've seemed a little off all day. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Please tell me. Oh, fine. It's my parents. They threatened to take away my inheritance if I don't break up with you. <gasps> oh my gosh. So what does this mean for us? It doesn't mean anything. I'm not going to stop dating you just because my parents tell me to. Joey, your inheritance is millions of dollars. Billions, actually. But I don't care about the money. I'd rather be broke if that means I can be with you. I just want you to be happy. Well, I am. I'm happy with you. Now let's not worry about anything else. Let's just enjoy this dinner and our time together. <laughs> These pigs are going to make me rich. Welcome home, Master Joey. How was your trip? It was incredible. Thanks, Mr. Henry. Very good, sir. Your parents are in the living room and they wish to speak to you immediately. Oh, is everything okay? Um, I think it's best you speak with them, sir. Well, okay then. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. What's up? Mr. Henry said you wanted to see me. How dare you defy me and break my rules? I don't understand. W what are you talking about? I know you went to our private island with that girl. How did you find out? 
It's all over the news! That's right, folks. Billionaire heir Joey Fortune was seen on a private island getaway with his girlfriend, Lindsay. Rumor has it she's just some basic poor girl with no money, no title, and clearly no billions of dollars. Why is a billionaire dating a nobody? We'll come back right after this break and we will speculate wildly. And I told you to break up with that girl. Well, I'm not gonna break up with her. I love her. But she's poor and she's not what I want for you. I want you to date someone richer of the same status as us. Poor people like her are just after your money. You don't even know her. And I don't plan on it. Your father and I are cutting you off. Your inheritance will go to Jason. You're seriously gonna take my money away because I'm dating Lindsay? Yes, and without your money, you'll change your mind. I'm sorry, son. Your mother gets what she wants. Look, I have a meeting. We'll talk at dinner. Fine. You know what? Take my money. I don't care. Not giving up on Lindsay. So your family's cutting you off? Yep. All of my money apparently is going to Jason now. Oh my gosh, Joey. I'm so sorry. Eh, don't be. I'll get a job, I'll earn my own money, and we'll be fine. We just won't have all the fancy stuff anymore. Honestly, I don't care about that. All I care about is you. Same here. But if we're going to survive, I'm going to need a job. My friend Vince works at this jewelry store. Maybe he can hire me. Hey, Vince, what's up, dude? Oh, excuse me? Who are you? Dude, it's me, Joey. And this is Lindsay, my girlfriend. Oh, sorry. I didn't recognize you without your money. What are you talking about? We've been friends for years. Yeah, but I heard your family cut you off. You're poor now. I don't hang out with whores. Dude, we're friends. Why does that matter? Not anymore. Please leave my store before I call the cops. You know what? Fine. No problem. Man, that guy's a jerk. Man, Joey, you're really bad at this. Uh, you just got lucky, that's all. Boys, enough with the video games. We have a guest. This is London Berry. She's the daughter of my friend from the country club. Yeah, I'm like mega rich. Oh, you two are the same age, Joey. Why don't you get to know each other? Hmm, he's kind of cute, I guess. Mom, are you being serious right now? Oh, don't be rude, Joey. We're all going to their charity event tomorrow. Now, be nice to London. I'll get Mr. Henry to bring us some lunch. So your mom thinks we should date? Yeah, of course she does. But I hate to break it to you, London. I have a girlfriend. Mm, yeah, but she's poor, right? She's not poor. Whatever. Your mom said... Uh, Jason, well, why don't you give London a tour of the house? Uh, I need to make a quick phone call. Uh, sure. Want to see the house, London? Mm, yeah, whatever. This is getting way out of hand. I need to stand up to my mom, and I know just how to do it. Hey, Lindsay, what are you doing tomorrow night? Uh, Joey, are you sure about this? Absolutely. This is one of the biggest charity events of the year. Why wouldn't I bring my girlfriend here? Because your parents hate me? Oh, they'll just have to get over it. Now, come on. Let's go dance and enjoy ourselves. Hey, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Joey, stop this at once. You're embarrassing me. Ugh, fine, Mom. Whatever. Way to ruin the fun. And what are you doing here? Hi, Miss Fortune. I invited her, Mom. I mean, she's my girlfriend, so she's my date. Oh, no, she's not. London is. Mm, yeah, hi, babe. Or, like, whatever. Wait, what? She's your date? Wait, no, no, no. Hold on. She's not my date. London is a far better match for you, Joey. Mm, yeah. Poor girl. Go bust some tables or something. Hey, you can't talk to my girlfriend like that. She's not your girlfriend. She's a nobody. Leave now or I'll call security on you. You know what? Fine. I I'll just go. Lindsay, wait, please. <sighs> no. Are you really dating that mean girl? No, I'm not. I promise. My mom is just trying to set me up with her. I can't do this. I'm just a normal girl, not some rich heiress. And I don't care about all this stuff or all these stupid stuck up people. It's you I care about, not the money. Look, Joey, I need to go. Let me come with you. No, I need some space. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry too. Oh, 
Good, she's gone. Now come back inside. Spend some time with London. Yeah, forget about that girl, Lucy or Louie or whatever her name was. I want you to meet some business partners. No, I'm done with this. I'm done with both of you. You just lied and hurt Lindsay's feelings. And I'm not going to stand for it. You're going to cut me off? That's fine. I'm cutting you off too. You, living on your own, you won't last a week. Oh yeah? Watch me, because I'm moving out. Dude, you, you can't just move out. I have to, Jason. I can't stand how mom and dad are treating Lindsay. She's not even talking to me right now. Sir, this is the last of your things. Thanks, Mr. Henry. Henry, take those back inside. They were bought with my money. Very good, sir. What the heck, dad? If you're leaving this life, you leave those luxuries too. Fine, keep all my stuff if you want it. I'm not gonna let this stop me. All this over some poor girl? She's the love of my life, and I'm not gonna just break up with her. Come on, Jason. Let's go back to where it's rich. <sighs> Sorry, dude. Good luck. Joey, what are you doing here? I just want to talk, that's all. Uh, sure. So, what's going on? You haven't been answering my calls or my text messages. I, I needed to see you. I'm sorry, I just needed some time to think. About us? Yeah. Well, I just want to let you know, I left my parents' house. I'm done with them and I'm moving out. I love you, Lindsay. And if I'm being forced to choose, I choose you. I can't be the reason you're estranged from your family. You've already sacrificed so much. So what are you saying? I think we need some time apart. I get it. Just remember, I love you, Lindsay. And I love you too, Joey. I need to find somewhere to stay. Maybe my friend Ace will help me. <laughs> so I told my dad, 5G wagons are nothing. <laughs> Yo, Joey, what's up, man? I just came by to see Ace. I didn't know you were having a party, dude. A party for the rich. And you're not rich anymore, bro. Who cares, man? Joey's my best friend. Oh, <laughs> unbelievable. Don't mind, Vince. He's being a jerk. What's up, though, dude? I need a favor. Can I crash here for a bit? I moved out of my parents' place and, well, y'all, of course, dude. Stay as long as you want. Thanks, man. I was worried for a second there. Worried? Why? Because you're poor now? Uh, yeah, basically. Dude, I don't care about that. I've got your back no matter what. You're the best, Ace. Now, come on, let's enjoy the party. So, you've never worked a job in your life? Uh, no, I haven't. I've never had to before, honestly. Oh, but you want to work here. I really could use a job. Well, nobody else wants this job, so eh, you're hired. Wow, thanks, sir. I think? Don't thank me yet. You'll deal with rich, snobby people all day. Yeah, I think I can handle that. You start tomorrow at 8 a.m. Don't be late. I won't be. Oh my gosh. Hey, Mom! Of course I love to go to the spa. Mom? Hello? Oh, hold on, Mitzi. Some poor person is asking for money. Joey, I didn't recognize you. Wow, thanks a lot. What are you doing here? Surely you can't be shopping without money. Well, I just got a job here, actually. Start first thing tomorrow. At the mall? <laughs> How embarrassing! There's nothing embarrassing about working hard and making your own money. Why don't you come back home? We'll give you your money and everything will be back to normal. Well, would you be nice and accept Lindsay? No, of course not! Then I'm not coming home. Suit yourself. Sorry, Mitzi. The poor are just so needy. Hey, Lindsay! These are for you. Aw, thank you, Joey, and thanks for meeting me. Of course. This is where we had our first date. Yeah, I figured this would be the perfect spot. For what exactly? I've had some time to think, and honestly, I miss you so much. And I miss you too. I know you've given up so much for me, Joey, and I appreciate it more than you know. I might have given up some things, like my parents' money and their mansion. But I have my own job now, and soon I'll have my own place. I might not have billions and billions of dollars, but I'll help you in any way I can. I just want you to succeed. Well, that's because you're the best girlfriend ever, Lindsay. We're in this together. It may be tough sometimes, but I know we can do it. Man, I've been working here for a few weeks now. Things are starting to really look up. Ew, this place is so tragic. Gosh. Oh, hey London. Welcome to the store. Can I help you find anything? I'm looking for you. Why me? How did you even find me in the first place? Your mom told me I'd find you here. 
but I didn't expect you to look so sad. What do you want? I have a red carpet event, I need a date, and you're going to be it. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. People might think we're actually together, and I'm with Lindsay. I don't care about your dumb, poor girlfriend. I'll pay you $100,000 to do it. No way. My girlfriend wouldn't like that at all. Fine. $500,000. I could really use the money, but no. No, I can't. From what I've heard, you're desperate. Yeah, I could use the money. But Good, then it's settled. I'll see you at the red carpet on Friday night. Oh my gosh, that was one of the best dinners I think I've ever had. Well, I'm really glad you liked it. Do you want to go out for ice cream? Uh, duh. Excuse me, sir. Aren't you Joey Fortune? Yeah, I am. I'm going to have to ask you to step out back and start washing the dishes. Wait. What? Why? Your bill is $175. Everyone knows your family cuts you off and you're poor. I have the money to pay for it. Here. Oh, I must have been mistaken. <laughs> I'm very, very sorry, sir. Have an excellent night and please come back again soon. Yeah, I doubt it. That was super expensive. Where did you even get that money? I, uh, I got it from London Berry. Wait, what? That snobby rich girl? She wants me to walk with her down some red carpet event. She paid me a whole lot of money to do it. Like a date? No, not a date at all. I told her we're just going as friends. You don't have anything to worry about, okay? I promise. Okay, I trust you. I trust you. Now come on, let's go get that ice cream. Man, this red carpet event's actually really big. Where is London? Of course she's late, naturally. Ooh, why do you keep showing up at these things? You weren't invited here. Dude, just leave me alone. We're not friends anymore. I'll have security kick you out so fast, I swear. I'm walking down the red carpet with London Berry, so just leave me alone. Oh, whatever. Oh my gosh, you're here. Can we just get this over with? Fine, whatever. Just try to look like you're having fun, okay? Yeah, no problem. Hey, London, are you dating this loser? He's poor now. Of course I am. He's not poor, he's rich again. Wait, what? Whoa, power couple, I love it. Hold on, what is wrong with you? Nothing, I'm incredible. Plus, this was your mom's idea. Now shut up and pretend to be happy for the pictures. Yeah, no way. I'm out of here. I've got to tell Ace about what happened. Yo, dude, are you home? You're not going to believe how my night just went. London Barry and billionaire heir Joey Fortune are now this season's hottest power couple. Isn't it incredible? Don't they look great together? What the heck is this, Joey? I uh, can explain everything. I trusted you. No, this was a whole setup. My mom made her do it, and she told the paparazzi we were dating. Oh, you're joking, right? No, I'm serious. She probably did this just to get a reaction out of the people and tear us apart. Lindsay, please, don't let this get to you. I don't want to hear it. I'm going home, and I'll talk to you later. Lindsay, wait, please, don't. Oh, whoa, dude. I know, my mom is still trying to break us up after everything. What else are you going to do? I'm going to put an end to this right now. Mom, we need to talk right now. Oh, welcome home, darling. Don't darling me. I know exactly what you did. Whatever are you talking about? I know you set up this whole London red carpet thing just to mess with me and Lindsay. Well, I want to see my son with someone of his caliber. And look, you two might be the biggest couple of the year. I'm not dating London. I'm dating Lindsay. Now, why would you do that? Well, you can have your old life back if you just kick her to the curb. Why do you hate her so much? Tell me. I have my reasons. I said, tell me. Oh, Joey, w welcome home. So you're dating London now? No, mom set this whole thing up and I'm done with it. What? Stay away from me and Lindsay. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. Stay out of my life, the both of you. I have the exclusive scoop from last night's red carpet event with Joey Fortune. Joey, what was it that you wanted to tell the world? Thanks, Diane. I just wanted to let everyone know that I'm not dating London Berry. I went to the red carpet with her just as friends. <gasps> just friends? Are you sure? London is very pretty and rich. She might be those things, but I am sure. I have the world's best girlfriend, Lindsay. I love her more than anything. 
yeah, that's great. Rumor has it that you have been separated from your parents. <gasps> did they cut you off? Yeah, they did. I want everyone else to know, though, that my last name might be Fortune, but I want nothing to do with my mom or my dad or their money. I'm living my own life now. I might not be super rich, but I'm happy. Wow. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Poor people can indeed be happy. Now, back to you, Chet. Cut. Wow. Thanks, Diane. I really appreciate you having this interview with me. Yeah, yeah. Ew, you're poor. Get off my stage. Oh, Lindsay? You're here? Yeah, I saw everything. Thank you so much for doing that, Joey. It, it means a lot. Now everyone knows the truth. Let's get out of here. Why? After all I did for him. This is unacceptable! What on earth was that? Is everything okay? No, it is not okay! Joey has publicly disowned us and embarrassed this family! <laughs> I don't blame him, honestly. You watch your mouth, young man! I want the very best for my children, and that girl, Lindsay, is not it! Darling, are we still going on about this? Yes, we are! Yeah, I'm gonna go play video games. You agree with me, don't you? Look, I want the best for our children, but I also want them to be happy. What are you trying to say? All I'm saying is, uh, if Joey's happy with this Lindsay, then perhaps we should let him be. Oh, absolutely not. <sighs> then you must deal with having Joey out of our lives. If I have a business meeting, I'll see you later, dear. Joey will see the truth soon enough. All right, I think that's the last of it. I, I can't believe we're actually moving in together. I know, and now we bought this house all on our own. And for a while there, I didn't think it was gonna happen, but you've really worked so hard. And so have you. I'm just happy to be with you, that's all. Is this a house or a very, very small closet? Mom, what are you doing here? I heard you brought a home and I wanted to see it for myself. Well, you've seen it, so now you can leave. Not so fast. I have something to say. Better not be anything mean towards me or my girlfriend. No, I wanted to say I'm sorry. Wait, really? Yes, I've thought about it, and I apologize to both of you, especially you, Lindsay. Oh, wow, I wasn't expecting that. Of course not. In fact, Lindsay, i like to invite you to lunch tomorrow, just the two of us. I'm shocked, but yeah, I'll come. Aw, oh, excellent. I'll see you there. You know, you don't have to go. I know you and my mom don't get along. Yeah, but I think she's trying. The least I could do is just go for lunch. Something doesn't feel right about this. Joey, you worry too much. Now, help me find the coffee pot. Your mom actually said the words, I'm sorry? I don't know, man. It all seems strange to me. Yeah, your mom being nice to Lindsay, that is pretty strange. What's her deal? I don't know, but they're having lunch together today, so I guess I'll find out soon enough. But you didn't come all the way here just to talk about your mom, did you? I didn't. I came to tell you something. I'm gonna propose to Lindsay. Dude, that's incredible! Sick! Yeah, check this out. Whoa! How did you even afford this? This is huge! I've been saving up ever since we started dating. From the moment I met Lindsay, I knew I wanted to marry her. That's awesome, man. This is gonna be the best party ever! Yeah, it is. That is, if she says yes. I know she will. Thank you again for doing this. I must admit, I'm pretty surprised. Well, I like to give to charity, so I figured I can donate some of my time today. Uh, okay. Let's just get this over with and get down to business. What do you mean? It's time you stop this loving girlfriend act and be truthful for once. Miss Fortune, I don't understand what you're asking of me. I'm here to make you a deal. I will give you two million dollars right now to break up with my son. <laughs> you must be crazy. I am crazy about my family. I want Joey back. He's miserable without his money and family. Hey, I never meant to come between you and your son. I just love him so much. And I do too. And I won't give up until my son has the best life, which I know will be better without you. You've got to be kidding me. That's a terrible thing to say. I don't care. Do you want to be poor with my son and make him miserable? Or do you both want to be rich and happy? Joey, we need to talk. Something crazy happened today. About back. Oh my gosh, what is all this? It's something special for you. Lindsay, these past few years with you, 
having the happiest years of my life. Are you sure about that? Absolutely. And now, I need to ask you something really, really important. Will you marry me? Oh my gosh! I know, it's a lot to ask, but what do you say? Yes, yes, I will marry you! Oh my goodness, thank you! I'm so happy! Well, you might not be happy with what I'm about to tell you. What is it? What happened? This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard! Whoa, dude! What are you doing here? I need to see Mom. Where is she? She's off to our home in France for the weekend. Of course she is. Ah, oh, Joey! Welcome home, son! Have you moved back in? No, Dad. I have my own place now. And I'm getting married to Lindsay. To the poor girl? Is that her? Yes, but uh, no! She's not poor! You know what? This was a mistake. I'll see you later, Jason. Dad, that was really lame of you. What? Uh, I'm not lame, I'm a billionaire. Yeah, and your son just got engaged. He's happy. You should be too. Of course I'm happy. I'm rich. I'm really sorry I couldn't give you a super big fancy engagement party, Lindsay. I don't care about that. This is perfect. All of our friends are here. You're right. I mean, I do wish my family was here, though. Actually, I have a surprise for you. Turn around. Sup, dude? Dude, you came. Of course, man. Mom said I couldn't, but I don't care. I wasn't going to miss this for the world. Oh, goodness. Did this closet get even smaller? Well, this should be interesting. Jason Fortune, I told you to never set foot in this house. Jason's welcome here anytime. You, however, are not welcome here. Don't be ridiculous. I am your mother. And you've been disrespectful to my future wife. You refuse to even get to know her, and I won't stand for it. I don't need to know her to know that she isn't good enough for you. You deserve the best. That's it. Leave. I will never accept this. You are not my son. Come on, Jason. Let's go. <sighs> No. What? No, I'm staying. I really like Lindsay. She's cool and she loves Joey. Plus you and dad suck. Ugh, unbelievable. Mr. Henry, start the Bentley. I'm really sorry, you guys. Don't worry about it, dude. It's fine. She's never going to change. Are you okay? Honestly, no, I'm not. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, Lindsay. I'll see you after work. Whoa, Mr. Henry, what are you doing here? Well, sir, I'm here for two reasons. The first is to congratulate you on your wedding next weekend. Well, thank you, Mr. Henry. I'm glad you're here. I hope you're coming to my wedding. Of course, sir. But now, I must tell you the other reason why I'm here. Mr. Fortune would like to see you at his office. Why? He said he'll explain everything when you get there. Son, huh, uh, glad you could make it. Of course. Mr. Henry said you wanted to see me. What is this all about? Um, I wanted to tell you that uh, I'm proud of you. Are you sure about that? I might have disliked Lindsay initially, but it's clear you're happy and in love. It's all I've ever really wanted for you. Thanks, Dad. I'll be honest, though. I find that hard to believe. To prove it, uh, I'm giving you back your inheritance. You're talking about money. You are serious. Yes, but on one condition. I want you to forgive your mother. You know I want to, but honestly think she'll ever accept Lindsay because I don't. Please try, son. She misses you and I miss you too. Well then, tell her if she wants me back in her life, she can come to the wedding. And if she doesn't, then I'll know the truth. Joey, we're married. I, I can't believe you're my husband now. Congratulations, you two. That wedding was perfect. Welcome to the family, Lindsay. It feels really good to have our families here together. Except I didn't see mom. I can't believe she didn't actually show up. Of course I showed up. I wasn't going to miss this. Mom, you're really here? Of course. Don't be ridiculous. Uh-uh, sweetheart. Don't you have something to say? <sighs> Lindsay, I am so, so sorry. I was rude and very wrong. I wanted the best for my son, and I didn't realize that you were the best for him. I really hope you can forgive me. And Joey, I am so sorry for everything else. I forgive you too, Mom, and I love you. And I love you too.